Go. <laughs> Hey, what's up everybody? This is Doug Jenkins with Antelope Audio. Today we got something pretty cool. We are taking the new Orion Studio HD and we're going to take a look at the internal, it's actually the onboard effects that come, at, come with the unit. The unit has what they call real-time effects and they're all sought after EQs, compressors, but today, man, we're going to dig into the actual amps. So today I have alongside me product specialist Freddie DeMarco. So what we're going to do is sort of put them on the spot. We have all kinds of presets that come with the Orion Studio. And I really want to mention real quick, the Orion Studio, and this is like something you usually don't get. You usually don't get more than a certain strength. The Antelope Company is known for their sound quality all over the world. So what they did with the new Orion Studio HD is they made it a little bit more favorable to a player or to a, a smaller studio, but it can also work on a larger scale in a bigger studio just for the sound quality alone. And the actual 16 outputs on the Orion Studio has benefited my studio tremendously. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into it. I'm going to go into the Orion Studio software here. We're going to go through a few things. Freddie's got his guitar plugged into the front of the unit. It's running to a high Z input and we're going to play through it and then it's capturing back into our DAW of choice which is Pro Tools but it could be whatever DAW you're, you're using. So if I understand this correctly then we're going into Pro Tools and we have the amp models from the Orion but in Pro Tools, and this is what's really cool, you can use the effects that you favor from your DAW system. So I have a little bit of reverb and a little bit of delay coming from AuxSense from Pro Tools. So we can add that to that and actually record real time. We can also use this to reamp, meaning that if there's an already pre-recorded guitar sound in there and you want to change it, you can use any of these models and even put their compressors on them as well and reamp, rechange the sound that's already recorded. Also, on the face of it, there are two outs that you can do traditional reamping. Because traditional reamping, back in the day, they would actually take a signal, a guitar, from tape through the console, take it out of the console, and put it into an actual amplifier and remic an amplifier. For example, you may have a track played with a clean American clean type sound but you want to try it out with a British Crunch. You could send it over to a British Crunch sound in the studio, re-mic it up, re-record it, blend it with the original, or actually replace it. So this can actually do it that old school way, which is really preferred in a lot of cases where there's really great amplifiers. If not, you could just, like I said, re-amp with the modeling in here. So let's just jam on this. Yeah, and, let's uh, bring something up. He's going to throw these at me. I haven't checked them out yet, except this first one. This sounds awesome. What is this one? This one is the Rock 2210. This is actually a preset that we're throwing at you. Uh, this is Rock 22, uh, parenthesis UK. Check it out, man. Now what's cool is every, every preset, you can actually move the placement of the mics, the rear mic, the 45 degree, the mic B. I mean, it's really cool you can really make it your own. So mic B, does that mean we're double miking this? Yeah, absolutely. So one cabinet with two mics, and we're choosing two different mics that are mic models with inside the Orion, is that it? Yeah, now over awesome. here, Freddie, mic A, we can actually choose between four different microphones. So you have your, your choice, which is gonna give you a different response, a different sound altogether. Um, also mic B, you have California, American, and these are all, you know, these are all sought after sounds. So um, very cool. So let's so move are, on. Are, are all the models in here, even the compressors, preamps and all that, on the recording end of it, this is all, these are all models of famous sought after pieces, right? Because the amplifiers look like they're replicating sought after amps oh absolutely everything in here as you heard on the first thing that you were just playing i mean everything is a very uh i believe that the antelope company went after that they modeled these vintage these vintage effects and they made them usable where you don't have to you don't have to depend on just the doll or anything like that they're standalone within the antelope unbelievable which Amazing. is cool man so really? let me let me custom through a few more here yeah bring me up so some what do, what do we have here this was an over an over range 120. Oh, I'm not a guitar is. player. 
That's pretty nice. Yeah. Let's go with a... Now this one, let me see, I think I saw this before I... Earlier, there, there's a recta, recta fat guitar. Now, that actually has some of the 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 EQ, some of the the classic EQ that we're all used. To. That's a nice that easy is, one to play on too. Yeah, and I wanted I wanted everybody to see that you can actually assign and start to build your own thing as well. So after the cabinet, the amp, we have these these you know sought after EQs that you've ob obviously used out of the box. Um, that's pretty cool to me. Yeah, two EQs. So, <laughs> so what we're gonna do here? Let's go to another one. You cool with yeah, that? Yeah, let's go to the real clean one. Is there like an American type clean? Let's thing? see. Any type of blackface type thing in there or something? Here is a dark face. Let's see if that's what you're oh, looking for. Dark face probably. It does sound good, man. It sounds great. Now you're obviously the player. No, it feels great. It feels Does great. It? I'm very impressed with it. How about the Marcus? Is that something up your alley? <laughs> I think I think we're getting the gist of it. Yeah. I mean, anything else you can think of right now? No, it's I, cool. It seems I, like I the amps are there, all the different tone controls. You know, we're just going with presets. Boy, we could be changing gain structure, uh, different types of tone stacks, uh, EQs, pretty much anything you would want. I'm hearing British Crunch, American Clean, uh, some British. How about a British Clean? Is there anything uh, uh, British no. like Beatlesque? type thing in there. Oh man, top 30. Like a diamond grill cloth kind of thing there. Let's see. You know better than I do. Uh, I'll bet there is. Bet <laughs> I bet you there is. There, oh, there it is. Look is this it? Grill. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, find it? Known for a nice wait, shiny. wait, that was oh, a yeah. good, that was That's Sweet. awesome, man. So yeah, this is Doug Jenkins with Antelope with product specialist Freddie DeMarco. Uh, th it's it's an amazing box, and and we just wanted to show it to you. We wanted to share it with you. What's really cool that I want to mention before the video ends is everything is is coming in through the and obviously there's going to be probably follow up videos for this, but you have everything on the matrix. You know your preamp, which is your line, your high Z. And then that feeds into your effects and you're ready to go. Um, or you can do it back into Pro Tools like Freddie was mentioning. So my name is Doug Jenkins with Antelope here. Uh, thanks for coming out, man, and, and, and doing that. It was awesome. All right, dude. We'll see you.